Reflecting figures on a coordinate plane. This video is going to show you how to take a shape on a uh, coordinate plane. And it's going to show you how to reflect it over the x-axis or the y-axis. Okay, so we have uh, this picture of a triangle and it says here to reflect triangle ABC over the y-axis and draw its image on the coordinate plane on the right. Name the new vertices. Vertices is plural for vertex. Vertex is a fancy word for corner. So they give you ABC of the those are the vertices. They just want you to tell the new location of those vertices. So I want to make sure you understand we're reflecting over the y-axis before we do anything. Uh, we're going to name the original points. Point A is at negative 4, 4. B is at negative 4, 2. C is at negative 1, 2. Hopefully you know how to name points on a coordinate plane. If not, I've got another video covering that. Go look that up. So y-axis, this is the y-axis. This red line is the y-axis. Hopefully that's not a big deal for you and you understand what that is. Now if we look at these points, point A is currently to the left of the y-axis. Well, if it's uh, 4 to the left of the y-axis, its reflection is going to be 4 to the right. Same thing with point B. Point B is 4 to the left of the y-axis. Its reflection will be 4 to the right. Point C is 1 to the left of the y-axis. Its new location will be 1 to the right. And so that's our new triangle. Now we're going to label it with A, B, C, D, but we're going to put these little apostrophes after it because that shows it's just the image of the original picture. And we're going to name those new points, those new vertices. Now, if you notice, when reflecting over the y-axis, look at how the y-value stayed exactly the same. And for the x-axis, all we did was take the opposite of them. So when reflecting a point, any point over the y-axis, you keep the y-value and take the opposite of x. Let's go ahead and do another one. We're going to take the same triangle, but now we're going to reflect it over the x-axis. So we're going to name the original points again. There they are. And this time we're going to highlight the x-axis. So in this case, all of these points, all of these vertices of the triangle, points A, B, and C, they're all above the x-axis. Well, in the reflection, all of those points are going to be below the x-axis. And then some kids might even see that, oh, this triangle's in quadrant 2. Its reflection is going to be in quadrant 3. Point A currently is 4 above the x-axis. Its reflection is going to be 4 below. Point B is 2 above the negative 4 on the x-axis. Its reflection is going to be 2 below. And point C is 2 above the negative 1 on the x-axis. And its reflection would be 2 below the negative 1. And there's the reflection. We're going to name those points. Just remember, A was 4 above. The new A is 4 below. Some kids have a hard time keeping track of the new points. And we're going to name them. Uh, point A is at negative 4, negative 4 and so on and once again this time before we reflected over the y and we kept the y values when reflecting over the x axis you keep all your x values and you just take the opposite of the y values when reflecting over the x axis keep x take the opposite of y we're going to do a couple more examples so we have triangle abc and we're going to reflect it over the y axis we're going to draw its new image. Now this one gets a little more challenging because some of the points are to the left of the y-axis, some of the points are to the right. So we need to keep track of things a little more carefully. We're going to write down our original points. Point A is at negative 2, 2. B is at negative 2, negative 3. Point C is at 4, negative 3. And we're going to highlight the y-axis because 
we are referencing our points in relationship to the y-axis. Point A is currently 2 to the left of the y-axis, while its reflection is going to be 2 to the right of the y-axis. Point B is also 2 to the left. It's going to be 2 to the right of the y-axis. Point C was 4 to the right. It's now going to be 4 to the left. And so we draw our new triangle, and we name our new points. We've got these little apostrophes after it, showing that that's the image of the original picture. And we're going to name those points. When reflecting over the y-axis, notice how the y-values are staying exactly the same, and we're just taking the opposite of the x-values. When reflecting over y, keep y, take the opposite of x. We've got one more example. All right, so we've got the same triangle, and we're going to reflect it over the x-axis this time. So we're going to reflect over x. We're going to name the original points. I'm going to highlight the x-axis. All of our points are going to be either above or below the x-axis. Point A was above the x-axis. It was 2 above the negative 2 on the x-axis. Now it's going to be 2 below that negative 2. Point B was 4 below that negative 2. Now point B is going to be 4 above that negative 2. Point C was 4 below the 3 on the x-axis. It was 4 below. Now it's going to be 4 above. And then we're going to connect the dots, the points. And we're going to name them. And there's are the new points. And when we're reflecting over x, you keep x and take the opposite of y. When reflecting over x, keep x, take opposite of y. And we're going to do a summary. So when reflecting an ordered pair, an ordered pair is an x comma y in parentheses. When reflecting an ordered pair over the x-axis, keep the x value and take the opposite of the y value. And here's an example. I've got this ordered pair representing a point on a uh, coordinate plane. If I reflect over x, I keep the x, take the opposite of y. So the opposite of negative 9 would be 9. And then we've got one more. When reflecting an ordered pair over the y-axis, keep the something value and take the opposite of the other value. So reflecting over y, you keep y. Take the opposite of x. So we're going to take that point we just used, negative 3, negative 9, and when we reflect over y, you just keep the y and take the opposite of the x. So negative 3 turned into a 3. I've got another video covering this concept. If you want, you can check that out as well. I hope this helps. Best of luck to you.